Hi there, welcome back to the channel. It's Richard here. I'm an outdoor photographer in Ireland. I'm currently outdoors in Hoat in County Dublin. Busy harbour town, beautiful sunny March morning. Uh, I'm going to wander around the harbour here, get some shots of the boats and the lighthouse and whatever's going on. So follow me and see what we get. So this is a place I come to pretty regular. Uh, I'm always trying to get a shot, a nice shot of the lighthouse and this little island off yonder. Makes for a nice shot. But um, I said today I'll, I might just t take my time, go a bit slower. I'm gonna focus more on what's actually happening in the harbour. I think it's nice. Like I said, it's, it's a beautiful day. It's very bright, so it's everything's kind of, um, be careful not to overexpose my shots. But, uh, there's a shot here behind me that I quite like to get, I'll show it to you now. There's a harbour wall there. And uh, as you can see, there's lots of people out for a stroll and they're walking on the bottom part and on the top part. So I like to get the long lens out there and just sit here and try and get some shots of people looking out into the silhouetted kind of against the blue. Uh, makes for interesting shots. So uh, again, you the nice ones there, I'll throw them up. a number of different shots from that location uh, I think they look better in black and white this is probably my favorite from that location a bit of action going on on the top of the wall and a nice bit of contrast against the, the bright light at the background so then I took a second shot from a different location in the harbor and I actually prefer this one it's more more flat on the other one was at a kind of a slight angle I like the shapes the, boys in the water, the contrast, and uh, just the two people walking. So I like that one. So the seawall that I was taking the shots of the people walking along have come a bit closer, and there's actually a little step that you can climb up on and uh, I'll just show you what I'm looking at here. So we've got the step up onto the wall and if you climb up here, we get this funky kind of shot of the bench from a low angle. So I had the long lens on the camera and uh, just been shooting, taking a few shots of the bench. Quite like it. So just another idea. Let's keep on moving. So this shot of the bench is actually probably my favorite from today. I really, really like it. I love the colors. I like the sense of scale, kind of hard to know what, what scale is that in my head. Uh, I like the lemon and the bit of grass on the ground, uh, the shapes again, just really, really like that. So I just took a break here, sitting down, enjoying my stroll this morning. Uh, I'm just taking my time, slowing it down, deliberately slowing it down and find that I tend to rush um, when I'm out taking photos. Sometimes I feel like I'm rushing it and I'm missing shots because of it or I'm just not paying attention to what's really happening or what's in front of me. So I've made a deliberate kind of decision today just for, to slow it down. So it's taken me about an hour just to walk a kilometre around the harbour here and uh, I'm going to keep this pace up for the rest of the afternoon. Um, yeah, I think it's just I'm going to try it out. It's always important to try something different to see and um, what can help improve photography, you know. If we're doing things wrong, it's worth testing it and trying something new, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just, like I said, slowing it down, much slower pace than I normally would be. Uh, I have the 50 to 400 mil Tamron lens on. I got that recently and it's fantastic. I, I'm finding a fantastic lens. Anyway, I, I just love the focal lens. It offers the, uh, yeah, going from 50 out to 400, it's, it's just great, you know. <laughs> it reduces the amount of times and swapping lenses. I mean, I've gone from carrying the three lenses from, I had like 17, 
28 had the, the, the holy trinity or the of the three lenses so now I've, with this lens i've just gone from a wide angle to this lens and i've pretty much gone from 16 mil to 400 so it's it's a one with me uh, i don't really need a huge shallow depth of field i don't need the f 2.8 lens even though i have several of them but they're currently at home sitting on the shelf but for this type of photography i, I don't feel like i need it and uh, on a bright day like today like no, definitely don't need it. So, just gonna have a bite to eat now, have a banana, maybe a Kit Kat, and we'll mosey on. Very simple shot here, but the sort of shot I like in this sort of environment, just off the just off the wall and the, again the textures and colours going on and the shapes and the form. Uh, I really like that one as well. Ah, harbour chains always make for a nice photo, easy to find, almost like seagulls. They're everywhere. Tried a few different shots to get uh, something interesting out of the chains and uh, this one here I think is my favourite. Again, um, I've got the chain balanced by the, the life boy on the other side. Uh, nice colours, again nice and calm, I like that one. shot is of the little small lighthouse at the end of the pier and um, I like the way the lighthouse is balanced by the lamp and kind of framed by the two black posts there's a nice sky in the background a nice bit of color in the red This shot here was one I actually took on a previous visit to the pier and it was taken at sunset so you can see this, the light shining in on the, on the box is coming from a different angle and again it just interested me the, the graffiti on the box and the, the bright red colour, I thought it stood out. just wondering where these people were going maybe they were going on a day trip looking for dolphins who knows like it though yeah well it's so windy out today it's ridiculous so there's no chance to get the drone up here and just blow away but uh, yeah continuing on to get these poles the sun's still shining there's a bit of cloud floating around now uh, so the sun's popping in there behind the clouds which is nice and um, yeah so like I said still have the long lens on and polarised filter on so I'm kind of switching it on now so I'm taking the shots a lot brighter than I normally would and I'm just deliberately doing that to see what they'd be like in the edit so yeah, the edit's they look nice but we get home and we put them into the light room and I'll see what I got you know yourself how that goes so I'll uh, <laughs> Hopefully I got a few good ones, but yeah, no, really enjoying this. Going to keep on going. Um, like I said, just a bit different to what I normally do. I'm still sticking with the one lens. I've uh, been tempted to swap it out to the wide lens, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it on a long lens. I think I might keep doing this for the day. And um, yeah, I just keep doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to walk around the other side of the harbour now. Um, but it's a lovely spot, like I said. Well worth a visit, always great folks to get down here, uh, it's like any harbour. So I'll keep on going.
just an image that you'd see around any harbour, all the lobster pots and the boys floating around. So various different colours going on there caught my eye with the little red boat in the background. That made for a nice composition. So yeah, I've been shooting everything handheld today. I haven't really felt the need for the tripod, uh, which is great. It would be nice that I knew that before I got out of the car because I could have left the tripod there, but yeah, no, all good. So going to keep shooting handheld, going to do a little bit more and then we'll see how we get on. Yeah, this section of pier here really caught my eye that the water was really, really green, really like an aqua green, uh, thought it kind of contrasted well against the concrete pier and you've got the concrete pier with the, you know, the landscape in the background, nice contrast. There wasn't actually that many trawlers in the harbour today I visited but um, I got this one of the, the one big trawler I could find with the main lighthouse in the background. The, I like the red going on and the, the bow of the boat, kind of matches with the red around the lighthouse. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks a million for watching the video. I had a great day out in Hoth. I got, hopefully got a few good shots. Uh, I enjoyed slowing it down. And I really did slow it down. I, mean, I spent three hours walking around here and normally doing about 30 minutes or 40 minutes. So um, I enjoyed it anyway. Um, please be sure to leave comments and let me know what photos you liked. Subscribe, we really appreciate it. I'm going to be out and about every couple of weeks in around Ireland, in around Dublin, doing outdoor photography. Um, hopefully you'll get some ideas and you'll see some different locations. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.